I didn't know you were coming over. Thursday night. So long. Beer's right over there. Just gonna wait it out. Let it cool down a little bit. Oh. Yeah, take the chill off with the furnace. Get a fire going. C71 runs good. Thursday night. I wasn't expecting such a turnout. Everyone's here. Might get a little noisy in here, you know, so just excuse that. Yeah, don't hit your head on that. It gets warm up there, you know. It'll toast your head a little bit. I would see it if you want. Oh. Yeah, I got that. I got that furnace, uh, man. It's a little bit of a broken dream. Last summer, I had two uh, outboard Johnson, you know, boat motors, antique ones, real old, hadn't run in a long time. And uh, then I listed them online, 
wasn't getting any bites really, but this guy down the street, Bubba, he had, uh, I heard through the grapevine that he had a furnace that just a regular, you know, trailer, garage furnace, forced hot air, you know, basic one. Where it was, he was getting out of his garage, so uh, he wanted to sell it. So uh, I started thinking about things, and uh, it turns out he messaged me about those boat motors because he's really into boats and stuff like that. And uh, so he moseyed on over one day, and he was looking at the motors, and uh, he said, I don't know, I'm interested in them. And uh, he said, I'm not sure what I want to pay. And I said, uh, well, I said, where it is, you've got a furnace you're selling. How much you ask him for that? Well, I was going to ask 200 I put it online, so I said, well, I said, I'll swap you these two motors for that furnace. He looked at me and said, yes. So he said, I'm going to have to do that deal. So we did that. We shook on it. And uh, he said, it's actually still hooked up in my garage. Garage very similar to this. Uninsulated, just a normal garage. and. Uh, so I used to do a lot of woodworking in there uh, during the winter and stuff, but it doesn't do it anymore. Nothing really going on in there. So uh, I guess to get it out of the way or whatever, he just decided he didn't want that in there anymore. So uh, he said, uh, yeah, it's all hooked up. He said, I'll give you everything, the thermostat, the stand, the, all the piping and everything. I'll get it all unhooked for you. So, of course, you know, it's during the summer and it's not really, uh, you know, a, a rush thing, but uh, well, it turned out that it turned into kind of a broken dream where, uh, you know, he was taking forever and uh, I said, well, I want to make sure this deal happens. So I delivered the boat motors right over to his house, hung them right up on his little little deck there where he wanted them. He was happy and everything. Thank you, thank you, yep. Oh, yeah, I'll get the furnace unhooked. Well, time goes on, and uh, come on, it's going to be cold soon. I'd like to get the furnace in my garage. Well... Wouldn't you know that when he finally gets it, now, I had a guy that, friend, that uh, said, oh, we'll toss that, we'll hook that furnace up in no time. I mean, you know, can't be that hard, but I've never personally messed with one. So, I figured, yeah, guy wants to help me put it in, great, you know have a beer, put the furnace in, turn it on, have another beer, you know, we're all set. So one of those deals. So anyway, he said, yeah, let me know when that guy, when he gives you the furnace. So I'm like, yeah, where's, where's the guy, where's my furnace? So finally, when you know, he gets it out and ready and it's like a couple days before it's like the first snow cup. And, uh, ooh, crackle. It just, uh, too much going on, and it ends up sitting outside the garage with a tarp over it, and that's when you know it's a real broken dream, but finally I said, you know what, I said, I got to get it moved in at least, so I got it inside, pushed it off to the side, at least it's inside, well, in order to, you know, put the barrel in outside, you know, it's got a 55-gallon barrel, sits on a stand, and uh, it's the way most people have them set up up here, you know, unless you got a big tank, you know, like the one we have in the house downstairs, it's uh, 
you know, 275 gallon, but um, anyway, good enough for a garage, so you got to put that outside, and now there's like two feet of snow out there, you know, everything's a mess, there's no, I, the spot I want to put, it's not clear, cleared out, you know, it's just not, nothing's right, you got to go up, and you know, you got to cut the vinyl siding away, so you can run the pipe through for the exhaust, and you know, run the copper line out, drill a hole in the wall, run that, you know, it's a few things you got to do outside, so needless to say it didn't get done. So I went another whole winter and, uh, you know, it's a pain in the ass. The wood stove's nice, I like to have a fire, but, uh, you know, you, you got to come out, you get a fire going, you know, you got to have a steady fire going for like two hours before it like gets warm in here enough to do something. So most guys up here in the garages will have, you know, like the setup here, take the chill out with the furnace, flip it right on, you know, hit the thermostat, go inside, get another coffee, come out, and at least it chills off and then you can start a fire. So anyway, went the whole winter, no furnace. Uh, I do have the electric Amazon one that you've seen before hanging from the ceiling. It's just a, you know, 220 volt uh, little energy sucker is what I call it because, uh, yeah, you put that on and it just barely takes the chill out of the garage and the electric bill just, it's gone. So that not so good. Uh, in a pinch, you could use it, but don't really like to use it. This, if I explained before, it's a arrow wood stove. I believe it's from Sweden. It's a Swedish made uh, stove. It has vents here on the side, if you can hear it. Plugs in. Just kind of blows a little bit of heat out when you get the fire going out. It's kind of nice. So, oh, back to the furnace. So all went to on no furnace. So, talked to that friend of mine. Oh yeah, we gotta get that furnace hooked up. Yeah, well, that's all we said all summer and spring and everything. Fall comes, oh, gotta get that furnace hooked up. Nope. What can you say, you know, people, they don't do what they say and uh, becomes more broken dreams, but uh, needless to say, I never get help, so I said, that's it, I'm determined, uh, started getting cold in here, and I, I don't care, I said, one way or the other, I am hooking this damn furnace up, I don't care, so, you know, watched a couple of YouTube videos, started looking at the pieces and the parts that he gave me with it, and uh, I just went at it. And uh, I got it all hooked up. The thermostat was uh, it's missing some parts, seemed like to me. Kind of a piece of shit the guy gave me with it. Uh, he gave me a roll of wire to. Uh, you know, to, to run it wherever I wanted to. And um, I ended up just jumping it, watched a video on YouTube, just jumped the thermostat, jumped the wires. <coughs> and uh, it's, the furnace itself just plugs into the wall. It's just 110 plug. But uh, it fired up. And, uh, I watched how to bleed it and everything, so I had to bleed her open, and uh, I don't know, I, I was almost giving up. I couldn't get it to pull fuel. Uh, just would not pull the fuel from the line. Uh, so, I kind of gave up, went inside, came out the next day, tried it again, on and on, and uh, finally, I just happened to uh, plug it in one time, I reset it, fired up, and 
bunch of foam came out of the line, the air and fuel spurted out, and off it went. So after I seen that it fired up, I finished my stack outside. Uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit of a project had to, you know, get up on a ladder, which I don't like. I don't like ladders, but uh, I had to get up there and cut away that vinyl. Put a little piece of metal there for it to go through, a little metal plate, made a bracket, pulled the stack, uh, that's about it, so then uh, I said, well, this thermostat ain't going to cut it, it just ain't going to work, so I ended up, uh, I hauled the car down, came back, stopped at Lowe's, went inside, where the thermostats, well, the only ones I could find was a whole section of, you know, those fancy ones that Bluetooth and uh, run from your phone and all this shit, digital or whatever. No, 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 no. I want the old fashioned round thermostat. Nice and easy. It's only two wires that run that furnace. So, come to find out makes perfect sense, but on the other side of the store, uh, covered in dust were the round classic thermostats. Uh, so 30 bucks, I was out the door, uh, put it on the wall, ran the wire over, history. Furnace works. Uh, I ended up, uh, last uh, clean out I did of the season where I cleaned out this guy's garage and everything, guy passed away, um, he was an old guy, he had a lot of stuff and he had uh, a whole bunch of kerosene cans and uh, a couple of them had some kerosene still in them and one of those big old antique bullet heaters that was just so it hadn't worked in years, but uh, that was full. So I drained all that out, dumped it in my tank, and then uh, I ended up getting some uh, about 40 gallons of heating oil, which technically, if it's outside, you know, uh, could gel up if it gets so cold. But uh, I put some additive in there, uh, suggested by my oil delivery guy. Um, the only uh, bad part is the oil company will not put oil in that tank. A uh, bunch of technical reasons. Uh, they will not pump any oil into a small garage tank like that, I guess. So um, I'm on my own. I got to get cans or uh, get oil delivered in the big tank and then pump it out of there. Um, so whatever, not a big deal. Uh, fuel lasts a long time because obviously it, I'm not heating the garage 24-7, it's just as needed when I come in. But um, So there you go, uh, boo hoo. You know, cry another day. Uh, you don't get the help you, you need, don't get the help you want, and you don't get the help that you promised. You know, I, I did not, I did not ask. You know, I was told I was getting the help, and I said, great, I accepted, and it never happened. So, there you go. Maybe you've uh, run into a similar situation, but. That's the way it seems to go with me a lot. I so, uh, guess it just comes down to the old saying, you want it done right, you want it done then, you got to do it yourself. But I'm happy that it's in, and uh, there we go.
I knew. I knew you'd be watching. That's good. I'm glad. Well, hope you enjoyed that little story. If not, sorry. But if you did, you're welcome. And uh, it's Thursday night. Let's keep it going. I'm going to cut it and uh, next video, story time. Let's talk about my new car trailer.